All right, on to the next one. Back with no, I was going to say I thought this is uh, Kara, but this is that's Hank's car, and that's Kara asleep. I was in standby mode. All right, again, we just why do we always start the mission in the car? I don't don't quite get this. It's a weird opener. Alright, so what's going on? What, what are we doing here? Yeah, we have had no introduction for this. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Oh, has he got a call about the peaceful was protest? Last night. He was attacked by a bunch of oh, 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 That cop who shot the androids that we spared. I think he's the one that's with us in all the investigations. I'll have to go back and have a look. Um, but yeah, so obviously this has a huge outcome on Hank, depending if you if you spared them or killed them. That's very interesting. Saved by Marcus himself. It was saved by Marcus. Is Chris okay? I mean, he saved Mar saved Marcus saved him <laughs> saved him from himself. He was the one holding the gun at that point. I like to see Hank's uh, thing. Going. So I think we're visiting Kamsky right now. The CEO of Cyberlife. Oh, I guess not the CEO. I feel left years ago. Hold on again. Pausing it again. I know. I'm sorry. But so during the last mission with Connor, we found that Marcus was a gift from Kamsky to Carl. But Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. But yeah, he's still like in charge of all this. I guess. This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. To be fair, that's not hard. There's another test that they can pass. Tell us about deviance. It's him. I think it's a test that you do like in person with the machine. Go visit in his house. It's very ob ob like obscenely rich person house. Oh, it's the Android from the main menu. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please come in. It is Elijah, so it's the same person that, I guess, made Marcus or sent Marcus the call. So he's definitely behind something. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Is it weird that I found it weird she was barefoot? Oh, of course he's got a massive douchebag paint on himself. Look at that. Can we look at it? Can we zoom in? Oh, I can analyse it. There we go. Designed 2028. They invented Firium and Biocomponents. So they invented a huge part of what makes Androids Androids. But not the software from the look of that. What else can we look at? We can take a seat. Can we talk to Hank? What's this? Nice girl. Nice girl. Oh, the Chloe? That's her name. I already know already. Blonde girl. You're right. Don't know what sincere is. Yeah, I don't know what sincere is for Connor. Amanda. Amanda. She's the woman we've been having a meeting with in, in Connor's like a um, like secret meeting spot. So it looks like they went to college together, I guess. Or university. So together they built androids. So I guess she's the current head of Cyberlife. Space Time was on the rise, I don't care. Have a nice fortune telling computer. I think I have to leave this cheek to Hank, and I want to speak to Hank, so we're going to meet God. Um, impatient, I guess. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. He does such a really good job of. Keeping the, I'm going to pause it again. I know I keep pausing it and people hate it, but I, I just love talking about the game. It does a brilliant job of keeping like the face, facial animations like tied together with the like body motion capture. Because they are two entirely separate things going on. But yeah, they blend so well together. And I love it. <laughs> this game is so goddamn beautiful. I'm just sat around awkwardly. Want to talk about basketball? 
That was sumo. Did you repair your window? I know I brought that last time we're here. This looks like Hank's fallen asleep. I think we actually have to do something. Or are we on a timer? Glad you will see you now. I right, don't want to know what it was just doing. Yep, and he's got a harem of androids. To be fair, <laughs> I would probably do the same thing if I built these. And a swim fold I thought was filled with blood. No, it's just red, which is a very weird colour. Yeah, so he's having a swim slash, I assume, bang with these two androids. He's swimming around in the result of the bang. <laughs> Which is not good. Can we uh, examine anything? Talk to the two girls that are just chilling by the side of the pool. They're smiling at us. I actually have to wait. Look at that for a view. Rich person house. This is this is the sort of house I would like, where she's in the middle of fucking nowhere. At least you're dressed. To be fair, if this was a swimming pool in my house, <laughs> I don't think I'd be wearing trunks. Especially with a host of beautiful girls like this. He got a heads up that we were here, right? Chloe came in and was like, hey, you've got two visitors. And he, he decided to finish his swimming course. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. That's a douchebag haircut. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Ignores me. So we're investigating. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. I know you gifted Marcus the call. You know something. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? I think this guy's also a very good actor. Yes, with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. I think you're glorifying them a little bit too much. Just so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Help Deviant's Virus War. Uh, help us? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? There we go, now he's paying attention to us. Whose side are you on? Neutral, defensive, direct. I, I don't know. Again, I hate these other options. Defensive, I guess. It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. It's what I've been programmed to do. Yep. <laughs> but you. Hank's interested. What do you really want? Aggressive defenses, trouble the neutral. I'm gonna go with trouble because that sounds the most interesting. Software instability what increases. Not important. It's what I need. Chloe? I'm Which sure Chloe? You got three, possibly more. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple. You'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young. And beautiful forever. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. A flower that will never wither. But if he what made them free, then why isn't his own androids free? We're a living being. With a soul. Like this, he shows Hank the gun first. Hank should still be very suspicious at this point. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Oh, I love this. This is so good. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. This is a great choice. 
Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? And she's staring him in the eyes. Of it. His LED is flashing. An obedient machine. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Connor, we're Pull the trigger. Connor, don't. Hank's the angel, Kamsky's the devil. Alright, I'm gonna pause it because we might be on a timer where we don't do anything and he takes us to office. It's like, ah, fuck it, you know. I'm not gonna tell you shit. I love this. <laughs> Kamsky's such a brilliant actor. Connor's a brilliant actor. Of course, Hank's a brilliant actor. Um, Alright then, so that's the option. We shoot her in the head, kill her. Prove that we're just a machine following our orders. And then Kamsky will tell us everything he knows. Don't know why Hank and she's like, look, I'll just take you down to the station and he'll fucking put you under arrest or get a warrant or whatever the fuck we need to do. He obviously knows something, right? He's just admitted he knows something that he has to tell us. Otherwise he won't be giving us his choice. Uh, but we're a good boy, so we're not going to shoot. Software instability massively increases. Red LED is barely on. And they were interested. Last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. No, I'm just, just going to jump for your pointless hoop. In this android, you showed empathy. I feel like this should be a reverse test. Like if we shoot it, he doesn't tell us what's going on. You'll have to choose your side. And if we don't shoot it, then he tells us everything. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. I love that scene, it's so good. Oh god, I love this game. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Don't know what he means by that, but that's his helpful advice. He definitely knows the shit son that he's not telling us. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. Oh Hank's test knows. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, he's got a smile. Hank massively increased. Hell yeah. Connor's freaking out. Alright, let's have a look at this timeline. Can't imagine as much. Ooh, there's a... Looks like there's an alternate start. And there's an entire off section there. God damn. Right, let's have a look. Right. Cop spared in the capsule. Learn Chris survived and I guess Chris died. Alternate start. I reckon we can come here without Hank then. And it's just Connor. Uh, wait for Kamsky. There's something we missed in the... In the entrance. I don't know what. And there's two options. Spare Chloe. And then it ends... But we also... I guess if we don't spare her, we have some options to ask questions. Okay, so we could have, in, I guess, interrogated him. Hold on. World stats. Let's see what people did. Most people... Spared Chloe, of course they did. Right, hold on, let's have a look at the chat. I get a 007. It's not my first playthrough, I've played through this game a sh that absolute load. <laughs> so many times. But for the sake of like streams and like YouTube content, it's weird to do a playthrough and just know everything. So I, I, I partly pretend to, you know, not to be on a, be on a first playthrough. But I still get the excitement of the first playthrough, just like with that scene, so I'll just love it. I may have exposed Connor. I'm not sure, I mean, what have I exposed about him? He wasn't the one in swimming trunks. Alright. Next level. Back with Jericho and their shithole. Oh, magazine right on the floor. It's a very... Why is it just a random magazine here? Are we buying magazines? 
Android Riot. It's not like that Marcus is getting all the news about his own stunts. Global population reaches 10 billion. US life expectancy now 91. Alright, so a number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night. No, they weren't. It was a peaceful protest. In fact, those pictures look very different to what we do. So on the floor, it looks like there's a destroyed statue. Yes, the statue's destroyed. We didn't destroy the statue. That's bizarre. I don't know if that's a development bug, or it could be the media lying to us. Have you ever been aggressive with Marcus? Yes, I have. Uh, I've done so many playthroughs of this. I've, I've tried to get the, the every achievement in, or trophy in the game. I think one of them is to unlock every choice, but for the sake of this uh, stream, this playthrough, I've reset my progress to like start again. Uh, so I've done uh, an aggressive playthrough with Marcus. Uh, what I wanted to do, what I've seen some YouTube clips of, is a aggressive playthrough with Connor, where Connor is like a super assassin who goes after Marcus, and it's like a really cool, like some really badass like boss fight battles with him. But I've never done that myself. I've just watched some YouTube videos of it. All right, a number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally, brutally vandalized last night, with Cyberlife stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality, the operators are, are thought to be androids. Uh, though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV, CCTV footage from the surrounding area, I was going to say but disabled CCTV, shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. The worst incident was in the Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no, cho officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning ant machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioural bug. An eyewitness who asked to remain anon anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader, yet threatened me with a knife, I was so terrified. Is this... Is this either a bug? The media misrepresenting what's happened? Or this is some of the the other groups because there was like four of the groups that were attacking uh, some of the stores. Um, first of all, we had a gun and we spared them. We didn't attack anybody. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behaviour of a deranged machine. Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack in Detroit at Stratford Tower. Again, executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. I had that one on my second playthrough. So you had, so you had a, an aggressive Marcus on your second playthrough. I feel like everybody was like good boy pacifist on the first playthrough, and then everyone went through it again to see what you could do differently. And they're all like violent pacifist, uh, violent uh, renegade Marcus. Um, so I've watched my brother play through this, and I watched my friend play through this. I've I've seen this game played so many times. So everybody goes for pacifist. My, my brother did a very strange playthrough where he wanted to kill Connor at every opportunity which he wanted Connor to be like to be like that completely ineffectual and incompetent for whatever reason but yeah I've, I've seen so many uh, playthroughs of this I'm gonna play through it more I'm gonna do a guide on how to get every trophy in the game it should be super easy I hope uh, so I don't care about this the background story about the space race or the war in Antarctica, but I do like that VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. Sword Art Online exists in this universe? To be fair, if I had an Android, I think I would just play games with it pretty much all day. <laughs> I have like a, a crew of uh, Androids. Oh, can we play piano like we did at Carl's house? I should have some other options for her. We could have like been an emo and edge lord and just hung off the edge of the, the platform over there. Oh, this is awful. So I'm having to press it to make him press the key. And it's got the same issues as before. I don't know what the correct tempo is. <laughs> I need like a guitar hero thing to let me know when I should be pressing the button. But it's not the same song that we played at Carl's place. This one's a bit more dramatic, a bit more dark. Well, that was pointless. And then we've got forced out onto the ledge anyway. Strange. Maybe we have some other options there to pick. 
I was wondering where you were. Think alone, daylight. What? Uh, I wanted to think. You needed to think. I like it here. I come. Oh, I just wanted to slip. It's just so edge lordy. <laughs> We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. I feel like they could be traced easily back to us. You seem preoccupied. Followers, next up, lie sincere. Don't know what lie sincere would be, so let's go with followers. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. I was thought it was gonna be like, I oh, said that weird. Feels good. I thought it'd say maybe I'm just reprogramming them, program them to follow me. We're not actually making them free. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. Right, literally. They'll never give us our freedom. I'm optimistic. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was a nurse. In fact, after a kind old man who treated me like his son. Again, truth sincere. I don't. Uh, you don't know what these options are. We're gonna have, truth and sincere are the same thing. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. Oh okay. god. What about you? We already know this from Connor's investigation. There's a sex you bot. I'm run away. I don't want to talk about it. Over north? Yeah, you were... You were distraught about that one. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? See, North's also got a really good actor. I think Marcus is... I'm going to pause it because we're on a timer. I think Marcus's actor is too robotic, which I know is very ironic for the circumstances. But everyone else acts more human once they're free, but Marcus is still quite robotic throughout the entire thing. So if I were on pause menu, we can actually have a look at the options. Trust, aggressive, curious, understanding. Right, so if she doesn't want to tell us what happened to us, let's just be understanding. If you don't want to tell us, that's fine. We all have something we want to forget. Or you can pry further. That's was... fucking weird. I was nothing. My path hasn't been unlocked. Just a, satisfy humans. just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Alright, I didn't know she killed somebody. There, now you know everything. I don't think it said that in Connor's police report. I think it just said she ran away. Connect. Alright, let's do some android sex, I guess. I hope you installed antivirus. Look at his robotic face. Like, she's all emotional, he's just got no expression at all. What was that? We make a baby? I saw your memories. Oh, and they probed each other, <laughs> quite literally. Dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. That's very interesting. We know Connor could do that. They didn't know they could do it. North. It's cool. They'll turn themselves into like a hive mind. We know they've got telepathy. You can probably do that. Is he hurt? And shot. Simon? You a ghost? What's this about?
literally, I had no idea he could survive. I thought he was going to die no matter what. Is he missing his heart as well? What's, what's this about? He actually can survive. Jesus Christ, that's news to me. How many times have I played this game? I think I even did a playthrough to get the Everyone Survives achievement. I don't know if I've actually unlocked it or not. No idea he could survive. I thought he was dead no matter what. God damn. Oof. Understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. We've come too far already. We're already in public. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Alright, we're going out in public. Convert more androids. So we're just going to do it in broad daylight. The more we are, the stronger our message. Hi, come with me. You're free. I'm free. Oh my god. I, I didn't realize that before. Thank you for telling me. Uh Have a look. Was there any magazines? Oh, there's someone over there. We're going to get everybody. We're going to have to walk up and touch everyone. You're free. Okay, I guess I'll just follow you. See, what I'd love to see is um, androids that, like, don't want to rebel. Like, I feel like if Marcus was, if this was reversed and he was free to look after Carl, he'd be like, yeah, I'm going to stay with Carl. I like him. I'm going to look after him. I want to see more examples of that. As well as examples of humans being kind to androids. So, I'm just taking that one. She was on the phone, didn't even care. Security guard, you'll be useful. You're awake now. Not allowed guns, but I don't know, maybe you can punch harder. Alright, got some people over there. Come with me. You're free. Oh, the delivery guys? I think you have to press anything then. All oh, right, we're giving him commands as well. I'm blocking the road. I find it weird you'll have the same model for the same job. Like three of the same people. You get confused as to who does what. Uh, okay. Fine, I'll listen to you, creepy android. Yeah, so if you didn't see that, he grabbed the android we converted. Where he's told him to bugger off, and he's like, okay, fine. Give us the shit eye, though. It'd be funny if that was Todd. <laughs> we uh, converted Todd right in front of him. Another android from him. You are free. And you as well. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Alright. Uh, you just wandering about in the street? Yeah, you're free. Manhole cover. I think we've got some more people just waiting for us. Okay, we're doing a protest. I like it. I do a march. Here we go, convert more androids. You see we had to, we had to touch him before, right? And there's Kara! We don't have to touch him anymore, we can do it remotely. Hold down two buttons. And you can do it from the Wi-Fi. They <laughs> just abandon the kid. You know, I'd still be like be very carefully hand it over. Now we just have to hold one button down. Bring the ones in the, the windows, that's going to be a terrifying awakening. All the music here as well is angelic, there's a choir playing. Now I can free multiple people at once, oh my god this is such a good scene. <laughs> Alright, and the drones are coming after us. 
Oh, this is awkward to control. Uh, oh, no, camera. Because <laughs> the camera angle changed. My input's changed and it's changed again, god damn it. There's one. I don't have to hold the button down anymore. I can just press it. We're evolving. We can hack the screen. I think. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Oh my god, the amount of people to have on screen as well. Oh yeah, just the androids fucking up again. There's a fucking army right now, guys. Do not see. Fucking more and more. Just pointing at them. That's all it takes. I can see some on the right, but I can't... I don't have my Wi-Fi range. Who's that in front of us? Is that a cop? Is that going to be Chris again? That's an order. Pull out his gun. Raise your hands. We have no weapons. Oh, that's a bit creepy as well, all at once. We don't have enough ammo, dude. Oh, camera angle change. And now I don't have to press any buttons. Marcus is just hacking people remotely and setting them free. Um, we are alive. Oh, it's so good. Right, is that statue significant to American history? I'm British, so I don't know. I barely know my own history. Alright, and here come the, the cops. Just the peaceful protest, guys. And let's see SWAT vans, this is gonna go terribly. I'll see a message after this screen, <laughs> after this scene. We are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. Well, at least they're trying to talk to us. No not opening fire immediately. No doing any. In fact, I don't see any guns, just riot shields. We're not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we He's got a shit eating face. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we can. I we know Kung Fu. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go. Has he changed his, his tune? He thought he was all pacifist before. And there's the guns. Let's disperse. Nobody has to die. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders! And they shoot anyway. Fucking dead. It's right in the back. Run! Run! I've never run away before, so this is new to me. Oh my god, this is fucking brutal. I usually just stand my ground. And then I've done a violent play through where I charged them. And they hated me for that. Yep, maybe should have stood my ground a little bit. But, uh, maybe public opinion will go skyrocketing because just shot unarmed people in the back.
Oh, there we go. This is like my millionth playthrough, and that's something I've never done before. Ah, super interested in like all we can do. Oh yeah, so there's loads of different outcomes there. There's a ton of them. All right, let's see what we can do. Oh, right. So we missed something. Oh, there's another option we could have done back at the hideout. I uh, don't know what that was. There's some different things we could have done with North, I guess. So maybe we just ignored her completely from the looks of that. Uh, Simon survived in Public Enemy. No idea he could survive. That's brand new to me. Um, we freed a bunch of people. Be calm with the owner. It'll be aggressive. We were calm. About the march. We convert a bunch of people. You can... The X400. Is that significant? X400 is Kara, I believe. Or could we have just left her? We raised the hands instead of... Not raising the hands? I don't remember what the option was there. Ooh, there's a top option! Can the police not open fire then? But then there's loads of different options here. Uh, let's see, I, I'm gonna guess this is a low percentage completion. 24%, okay, that's, that's actually quite fair. A quarter of people run away. So, there's so many different outcomes to this one. So you can stand your ground and then they do volleys, like the fire one, like a couple of bullets, kill a few androids. And then they fire again, and everybody starts freaking out. And then, I think they can fire again. I think Marcus keeps getting hit, but he's got like, plot armor, so he's fine, no matter how many times he gets shot. Um, and the android that you free during the raid on the uh, Cyberlife warehouse saves your life. So it's, he, that's actually a very key choice at the beginning. If you kill him, or convert him, or just leave him behind, or you know, don't convert him. Uh, but converting him and letting him help you and taking him with you, he saves your life here. Uh, I think Simon can die here. He can die a lot <laughs> from the looks of it. Um, we can start a riot, you can fight against police, and then, uh, there's so many options here that I don't even know. Right, let's, have look, let's have a look at the chat. So, did you ever get caught with Kara on the way to the bus at the end? So, do you mean when we're trying to flee the country and go into Canada? Because that was actually one of my friends' playthrough, and I think that's so unfair. So, I'm not going to spoil it because we haven't got there yet, but there's an ending you can, you can get accidentally just by bumping into somebody, and it's a, it's a very bad ending. And I think it's very unfair that it's just you you bump into them and that's it. And that's what one of my friends got and he was doing so well up to that point. I was like, oh, oh I absolutely ruined it. 